Hi guys, welcome to episode four of the nutrition series. We're going to be oh sorry, not episode four, episode five because we're gonna be talking about trading in episode four. But I'm gonna post this one a bit earlier because I feel like it's just more important to get started rather than just forgetting about it. So I'm gonna be talking about lean bulking now. Just a heads up, I haven't started doing it yet, so I'm not really. Feel like I'm qualified, but I'm just gonna give you the basic science of it and just a basic understanding, the basic macros, and I can just learn more and help other people along the way. So, what is lean bulking, and why should we consider it, and who should be doing lean bulk? So, lean bulk is a you know eating more in a caloric surplus to gain mass. Who should do it? Anyone who's lifting and wanted to build more muscle mass. Yeah, pretty simple. So how the question is we have to ask before we ask thinking about if the lean bulk is right for you, is how experienced are you at the gym? Are you a new person? Are you detrained? Are you intermediate novice? Are you intermediate? Generally, if you're new or detrained for about six months you can go through a body recomposition phase. And what that means is for the next few months, your body is adapting to the new stress and stimulus you're giving it from eating proper nutrition and lifting weights so that you're going to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. Now, the only reason this happens in the beginning phase is because like I mentioned before, it's a new stimulus and once you get used to it and a few months down you're gonna to have to start bulking or cutting in order to make progress if you're intermediate you know intermediate novice or once you've finished your body recomposition phase lean bulking might be for you now the next question you might ask is what is your physique like are you skinny fat are you skinny or are you overweight now if you're skinny fat this is someone who has a lot of fat in their midsection with tiny arms. Let me just show you what that looks like. I used to be skinny fat. It's a pretty sad epidemic to be in. So if you see this picture right here, you can see he has a lot of fat in the midsection. It's generally where you hold a lot and tiny arms. Now, this guy might be average weight for his height in the BMI calculator, but it's just less muscle mass and more fat on his body than he, uh, any person would like. Next, we have a skinny person, and then we have our overweight individual. Now, if, you might have to ask the question as well, how experienced are them to you know kind of see what they should do. So if you're a skinny fat individual that is new to the gym or you're an overweight person going to the gym, you can do body recomposition. Now the reason this is the best because you're adding muscle and losing fat at the same time. Since you're overweight, you'll be losing fat while gaining muscle. Uh, skinny fat, you'll be gaining muscle while losing a lot of fat that you have and it'll be more even for the skinny fat person. Now after you do the body recomposition for a skinny fat person, I would recommend going in a lean bulk for maybe one year or more to see how your progress goes. Oh, overweight, depending on how much fat you lost, you might have to do a cutting phase for a little bit before starting a lean bulk phase. Now, if you're skinny, I think you should just start lean bulking anyway, just because you need to start adding mass on your frame. Not to be insulting, I'm small too. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, the difference between a dirty bulk and lean bulk is one, the caloric surplus. A dirty bulk is around 500 calories a day or more, and the lean bulk is around two to 300 calories surplus from your, day, your maintenance calories. Now, the reason I kind of advocate for a lean bulk rather than a dirty bulk is because you gain less fat overall. Generally, the literature says the, the best, the most amount of muscle you can build per week is 0 0.5 pounds, to, but that has to include your training is good, your nutrition is good, your recovery is good, and your eating is good. So unless all those factors are you know stacked on stacked pretty good, the best you can probably get is you know 0 0.5 pounds realistically. And that's just the sad part of it because muscle is a long, long process. Now, if the mus building muscle was easy, I would probably be the next Arnold Schwarzenegger but instead, I just look like an idiot.
So it's just pretty sad. Next is, on top of gaining less fat overall, you're going to look better. Generally, when you see dirty bulkers and you see them overweight, they just look really overweight. Like, well, this is famous bodybuilder that did a dirty bulk. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. If you eat too much and it's caloric surplus, you're going to gain more fat rather than muscle. This is kind of what it looks like if you eat way too much in a caloric surplus. Not good. Okay, and the final thing, like I, it ties in with looking better, is you're going to have to spend less time cutting. So let's say I gained around 20 pounds. Uh, hopefully, the ratio should be one to one. Maybe it might be different for beginners, but I think intermediate, the range is around every pound of muscle you gain is you gain one pound of fat, which is a pretty good, you know, dynamic to me because that means you only have to spend, you know, maybe 10 weeks to lose 10 pounds of fat, saying that you lose a pound per week. Now, that'd be great. But let's just say you were dirty bulking you gain 40 pounds. Maybe the ratio might be one for two. So for every pound you gain, you gain two pounds of fat. So now you might spend probably, wait, what is 20 weeks divided by four? You might spend five months losing the weight or more just because you have more fat mass relative to your the muscle mass that you gain. Now, it's just a pain in the ass, honestly, if you have to cut longer than you should, you're just not going to feel that great, especially being in a deficit after you've just been eating like all you want in a dirty bulk. Now, the only con that you have in a lean bulk is just like, it's just a longer process. It's just like, it might be like, for people that are skinny that had their skinny frame for their entire life, they just want to add mass. They just feel and look better. It just might be hard for them because it's just like it's a long process. And they'll be like, well, I should just listen to my friend's advice and, you know, eat, just keep eating whatever I want and I'll just pack on mass. I mean, why is this skinny fat Asian kid to tell me how to bulk when he looks like dog shit? And you might be, you know, you might say that's true, right? But you might have to take this in a smart approach because, like I said before, you only gain 0.5 pounds of muscle per week if you're doing everything right. And if you just eat whatever you want, that might be generally geared towards gaining more fat. Now, here's the argument, right? Here's the argument with eating, just eat all you want, right? Let's say I'm a really athletic person and you know, let's just say, just keep eating, just stuff your face till, till gain weight, right? Let's say my maintenance is 3,500 calories, right? And I, I stuff my face with McDonald's and, you know, some pizza and fries, but I only ate 3,000 calories of junk food. That's still 500 calories different. And I'm, I'm theoretically losing weight. That is the only argument I have against, you know, just stuffing your face is if you don't track, you don't know if you're under eating. Generally, when skinny people say they can't gain weight, is either they just mainly just don't eat enough. Like, you know, they might be just like, like I mentioned before, they might be burning more calories than they eat, or they just only eat one one or two big meals per day, and they just don't eat anything else just because of the amount of food that they ate. And it's the food that might they ate just could be under their maintenance calories. So, you know, just like a general guideline when you're lean bulking is I just recommend just tracking your food because that's the only way you can tell if you're going to gain weight the right way. And if you're gaining too much, then you know that, you know, you got to lower the calories. If you're not getting enough, you got to bump it up. Okay, so the next video, I'm going to go over breaking down the macronutrients. It's pretty similar to cutting, except you're going to be in a surplus. So you, can just, you get to enjoy more food. And I'll just give a better timeline for that. So till the next video.